behavior free cash reinforced concrete columns subjected to monotonic short term load. This paper presents a case study on the behavior of free cash reinforced concrete columns with non conventional cross section. An experimental program was developed to verify the surface ability and ultimate limit state of these columns with eccentric compressive forces. These experiments were then simulated in finite element commercial code and mechanical APDL and also evaluated with a theoretical model based on the Brazilian standard AB and GMDR 6218 from 2014. Four tests were conducted horizontally with the same column geometry and reinforcement ratios, but with different load eccentricities. Tests D1 and D2 had eccentricities of 82 and 310 mm, respectively, about the x axis. And tests E3 and E4 had eccentricities of 72 and 260 mm, respectively, about the x bar and axis rotated 45 degrees in relation to x. The columns had a total length of 3,400 mm. The columns were also assessed with the ANSYS finite element code and with the theoretical model presented by Pareto from 2013. Numerical, theoretical, and experimental results presented good agreement, especially in service ability, as can be noted in Figure 3. The behavior of precast concrete column for use in the modular housing project was evaluated according to four different methodologies. To validate these methods, an experimental program was developed considering four different load eccentricities. The models here proposed are feasible for the behavior prediction of precast reinforced columns, and it is possible to extend the application of these methodologies to other practical situations, such as bending of beams and slats. Although the theoretical methodology proposed does not have such a high degree of sophistication compared to the finite element numerical model, a good correlation of results was observed, especially for lower loading levels expected in a serviceability situation.